We are living in the artificial era of mixture of experts. Mixture of experts is a machine learning technique where multiple expert neural networks are used to divide a problem space into homogeneous regions and then they tackle it separately and then give us a holistic result. In this video, I'm going to introduce you to this new mixture of expert model, which is called as MOE Lava. And this mixture of expert is for large vision language models. One of the coolest thing about this model is that it is just 3 billion sparsely activated parameter model and it has already demonstrated performance comparable to LAVA 7 billion on various visual understanding data sets and even has surpassed the LAVA 13 billion in object hallucination benchmarks. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can get it locally installed. So let's get started. Let me log into my trusted Ubuntu terminal. There you go. Let me quickly show you my Ubuntu release, which is 22.04. Let me clear my screen. Now, the first step you need to do in order to install this Moi Lava on your local system is to make sure that you have few of the prerequisites installed. For example, make sure you have Python installed. So let me show you my Python version. It's Python 3, I guess. So I'm running 3.10. Then make sure that you have PyTorch installed and the version should be, okay, so my PyTorch is not installed. Let me quickly, uh, or maybe what I'll do, instead of installing PyTorch here, I will install it in Conda environment. So let me see if Conda is installed. Yes, I have Conda installed, which is great. Let me first install the Conda. And even before I install the Conda, let's make sure that we have git clone this repo, which I just showed you. The command is very simple, git clone and this, and I already have it. So that is all cool. Let me go there. So this is a git uh, repo, which I already cloned, and I am in the root of this GitHub repo. Let me clear my screen. Now, in order to create the conda environment, all you need to do is to run this command conda create dash n more lava and make sure Python 3.10. So I already created it. So I'm not going to press enter here. Let me just simply activate that environment. And command for that activation is simply conda activate more lava that is done and you can see here in this parenthesis. Now clear my screen. Now quickly check that prerequisites. So this is 3.10, which is cool. Now let's see if my torch is installed. Pip show torch. There you go, 2.0.1. That is a correct version. Let's see if I have CUDA installed. So CUDA version should be more than 11.7 or equal. I have 12.3, which is cool. Let me clear it. If you don't know how to install CUDA, I have a separate video on it, which you can check on my channel. Make sure that you have transformers installed and the version should be more than 4.36.2 or equal, which I have, that is cool. Let's also make sure we have tokenizers installed. The version should be 0.15.1. And that's what I have. Let's clear the screen. So we have all the required prerequisites. We have cloned the repo and we are in the root of the repo. Now let's install all the prerequisites which are in this repo. The command is just to upgrade pip. I think I already have the upgraded, so it should be good. Yeah, that's nice. Now let's install all the requirements in this repo. Let's wait for it to finish. You don't take too long. As you can see, most of the stuff is already there. Cool. Let me clear my screen. Let's install one more prerequisite with the train one. This should be fairly quick. Let's wait for it to finish. That's done. Let me clear my screen. And now let's install flash attention, which is an IO aware exact attention algo that leverages uh, tiling to minimize the number of memory reads. Let's run it. Takes a bit of a time. 
there you go took around one minute to install and that is also done let me clear my screen okay so now we have installed almost all of the prerequisites and we have also um, cloned the repo so all the installation is at this point is done and now all we need to do is to do the inference now there are various ways you can do the inference you can launch your gradio uh, demo or you can launch it on deep side you can even use uh, your own python code in order to run it and let me show you how and this is how you launch the uh, gradio demo with the help of dspeed which is uh, already we installed while installing all those prerequisites once you do that it is going to open it in your browser so it failed with the error that it couldn't find the decode module so i have just installed with pip install decode now let's run the above command again and see what happens this should be fine hopefully this time it is loading again and this time it was fine and loading the model which is cool and the model size is just 5 gig we are using it the 5.2 this time let's wait for it to load so the first tensor is done and then second will be done and then the third because there are three tensors once that's done we will check it out on our uh, in the browser hopefully to see if gradio demo is working for this molava And now the third tensor is being done shouldn't take too long now and then we will check it on our browser as how it looks so you can see that now the gradio demo is running now and you can ignore uh, these warnings if you face any but so far looks good now let's go to my browser and show you how it looks in the browser so there you go it just looks like this and i already have a sample limit but let me um, get my own uh, upload one image and then we'll play with it let me load maybe one of the videos youtube thumbnail which i did just yesterday uh, let me get a simple one so this is a code llama one and maybe i'll just ask some of the questions here and i i will ask it maybe what's that text in image press enter let's see let's wait for it to come back and you can see that it is processing it it says the text in the image is the llama 70b very nice okay so and you can select from here too um, if you want and then you can uh, do a lot of other things now i have uploaded another youtube thumbnail of my own video i'm just going to ask it what is unusual about this image let's see what it does send and then it is processing it let's wait for it to come back there you go so if i scroll down it says there you go so the unusual aspect aspect of this image is that it features a group of cartoon characters specifically enemy characters look at how intelligent this model is that not only it has recognized these are cartoon but also which genre of cartoons so i'll just say what these cartoon characters are holding let's see if it is able to do it be fun if it is able to okay so it's unable okay so i'll just ask do you see any numbers in that image let me press enter should be fun to see if it is able to recognize that okay now so it was unable to recognize what these cartoon characters are holding but still pretty cool i would say so this is it guys um, i hope that you enjoyed it let me know your thoughts in the comments and if you are stuck somewhere it's not working any issues let me know and i'll be happy to help out and if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed 
please share it among your network as that helps a lot thanks for watching